I'm beginning with our journal and I've opened it to a page that we've already prepped with our background color. We're going to start adding layers. Once again, I'm reminding you that I do work intuitively and I'm not used to someone looking over my shoulder, so I'm going to do the very best that I can to show you my process and how I layer. I like uniformity on my pages. I've grabbed one of my favorite stencils. I've got a little dish of white paint. I've got a stencil brush. I've got just a tiny bit of paint on this. And I've placed my stencil over the edge. I don't, I like some of my images to kind of go off my page. I'm going to start in the center and very quickly, without a whole lot of thought, I'm adding just a little bit of white color. If I find that I'm not transferring enough, I will add a little more paint. And I'm swirling this around, trying not to be too precise with getting it all over the place. So there you have it. It's just a smidge and a suggestion of white. Again, another layer on what we've already laid on these pages. Now if you'll notice, I've got some color over here and color over here. Just a little bit of white, it's a little frosty. I'm going to dab my paint, get a little more paint, brush some off on a paper towel. And I just want to add a little more across the bottom of this page. And put this at the top. And add a little more over here, off the edge. I kind of like that. Now, if you'll notice, I chose this page for a reason. This page has a blue spot right in the center of it. I'm not thrilled about it, but I'm not worried about it either. We're going to address that in just a minute. I've grabbed a fairly large rubber stamp and I've inked the surface of it with brown, timber brown stays on ink. I'm now going to lightly stamp over this page. And I'm, I'm not worried that I don't get all of the images. I just want to kind of add, again, more layers. More layers makes for a happy camper. And you see, I'm even going over some of this. Double stamping. It's fine with me. It doesn't matter because a lot of this is going to get covered up with image. A lot of it's going to get covered up with journaling. I allowed all of this to dry. I've allowed my stencil to dry as well as my stays on, which actually dries pretty quickly. I've grabbed my trusty crayons again. The same Neo Art that I used to prep this page, the green and the yellow. I want to intensify this color. So I am just randomly adding green over what I've already done. And I'm also adding some yellow. Again, I'm trying to work intuitively here. I've I'm now going to just add more depth. I've got my trusted baby wipe. I've wrung it dry a little bit. And now, again, I'm blending this color. Look at the difference. Do you see how this page has gotten deeper and brighter? And there are more layers. Again, I'm turning my baby wipe. All of a sudden, my white isn't quite as white anymore, is it? Look at the white on the stencil. It's really kind of gotten colored. It's gotten very pretty, very soft. I like that. Okay, so we've got more color added to the page. Once again, I'll just throw the extra color from my baby white on my background pages. Those will come in handy another time. I've taken my template and I've taken my paper, I've glued them together, I folded it in half and scored it with my bone folder. I'm ready to continue with this page. But before I glue this to the page, I want this to be incorporated more into the background. And I'd like to get some color on the inside of this. So once again, 
I'm going to take a green crayon, doesn't matter if it's the same color green that you used in the past or not, and I'm just going to add some color to the interior of this along with a baby wipe. I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. I've added two shades of green crayon to the interior of this note card and I've got my baby wipe and I've got some cardstock on the back and I'm just going to technical term smush the colors together. Blend these together so they're almost ready to be inserted on the page. Again, we're looking for some sort of consistency. I've got the interior of my note card colored pretty much the same way that I've got this page prepped. So when I do open it, it's a nice cohesive unit. I'm taking the baby wipe. It's got a little more color on it. I'll rub it on the outside of these pages. Again, it's more color, another layer. You may not think it's adding a difference. It really does. Little by little, you're building the layers on the outside of this page. You're deepening things. It's giving it more definition. If you want to add more color to this tag's interior, this would be the time to do it while your tag is unattached. So I'm taking a blue oil pastel crayon and I am going to add just a little bit of color to the outside edge of the inside of this tag. And again, I'm just taking the oil pastel. It's a water-soluble oil pastel. And I'm just adding a tiny bit of color around the, the edge. It's giving it a bit of a border, giving it more of a finished look and a definition. Keep this crayon handy. We'll be using it again. I'm putting it on the side. This time I'm taking my finger and I'm just, just rubbing the color very softly and edging the interior of this tag. All right, I, I used a Yoohoo stick and I've got glue on the back of this. You can't feel through the video, but trust me, this is very tacky. I can either turn it this way or I can turn it this way. I am choosing to lay my tag on the page like so. I'm putting it down and I'm using my hand to rub the interior of this. If you've got a brayer, this is a good time to use your brayer and roll it over the tag to make sure that it's firmly affixed to the page. There you have it. Little tag ready for journaling. Now, I'm not quite finished with this. I'd like to do more to this page. So I'm going to remove my cardstock and go on to the next step. My note card's been glued firmly in place. I'm ready for more. So I've got some washi tape, green washi tape. I like using the tape. I'm going to add just a little bit of washi to this card. The washi tape is firmly in place and now I'm ready to begin adding my images. So I've chosen my bluebird. I like him. I like a little bit of blue on this page and I've chosen an image of roses. I do like using roses. You'll see that in my work a lot. I'm going to hold my rose in place. I'm going to take my image of my bird. I'm going to get the glue on the back of it. Again, recycled. I like using old things. Using an old catalog to use for your glue stick is a great idea. So I'm rubbing my little bird, putting him in place, going to another spot on my catalog, gluing. Sorry, my hand is in the way, but you don't have to really watch me glue. Putting my roses on the page. If you'll notice, again, images are overlapping. They're overlapping because it gives more interest to this page. It gives more interest to this little note card. I'm going to take my scissor and I'm going to trim my image. Nice and easy with his little tail. There we go. And then we'll just smooth that in place. There we have it. Our little note card is ready. And now we can go further with this page. 
I took the liberty of taking one of my backgrounds and I've trimmed it into different sizes of paper strips. I've got half inch strips and I've got inch strips. The reason why I've taken this background, the very same background that I've used on this card, is because I'm going to take this image of the background and I want to enhance these pages by using the same background to keep it consistent, to keep a nice flow going on this page. So I've got my strip and I'm going to lay it on the page right near the end. Again, you see how it's pulling this image and tying it to this image so that these pages relate. As mentioned before, I like to work intuitively. I kind of like this little bit of pink on this strip and I think I want to add more to this tag. More is better. So I've got this half inch strip of scrap and I'm auditioning it and I really like the way it looks layered over this washi tape. Alright, our page is ready. We've got our note card pretty well done for our secrets. We've added our strips and our color. So now it's time to add another image. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, geez, I really could use something over here. And after auditioning a few things, I've decided that I like the pup in a cup. He relates well to this little bird. He's very colorful. I'm going to place him, again, kind of hanging off the page. So that will give me a lot of room to journal. And again, you notice now all of a sudden the bottom strip being a little short doesn't really make any, never mind does it, because I've compensated for that with this cute little image. Additionally, I've decided that I'm going to use the word love. And I'm choosing the love because of the way that it relates color-wise to the roses on both of these elements and pulls it up into this corner of the page. You may be wondering where I found love. Love actually came from a flyer that was at the local yogurt place. And I asked the girl if I could have several of them because I loved some of the writing on this page. I like the way the love looks, but it could use something else. I just want to balance this out a little more. So I've decided that I'm going to add some roses. My roses right over the love. Again, it's carrying out the roses theme. It's carrying the color through the page. So I'm going to take a moment to glue these remaining elements on the page and we'll be right back. I've got my pup in a cup glued to the page and if you'll notice he was leaning a little off the page so I did trim him up. My love is firmly in place along with my roses. So I'm very happy with the way this page is coming along. I'd like to add more definition and even more color and I'm about to begin that now. A few steps ago I asked you to keep the crayon that we used to border the inside of this handy. You're going to see that that's going to come in handy now. I've placed my cardstock between my pages again and I'm going to use this same color, the same blue, to give this consistency I'm going to add blue crayon, the oil pastel, to the outside of this page. I'm going to use my finger. God gave me fingers before he gave me any other tools. So thank you Father for my fingers and I'm going to use them to spread this beautiful color along the outside of the page. For this next step I've got a cork, a plain cork from a bottle of wine. I've got a paper towel handy, a paper plate that I have filled with acrylic color. It's just the over-the-counter cheap acrylic color, white. It can be any color you choose. I'm choosing white because I really kind of want to brighten up this page. So in order to do that, I'm going to take my cork, I dipped it into the paint very lightly, brush the excess off, and I'm going to start making my dots, twisting and swirling. And I really like the inconsistency of it all. I'm taking it right to the center. 
I like that when it happens and you only get a piece of something. I'm going off the page. I'm not afraid to go off the page. Again, put my cardstock behind to kind of keep things nice and neat. Again, going right over the edge. Sometimes I'll get a full image. Sometimes I won't. It's a stamp. I'm using this cork as a stamp. And if I don't like the way it happens, I'll just rework it and go over it again. It's okay. You'll see. It'll all work out. I just want to mask this and get a little more of the white over here. So I'm taking a plain piece of white paper, putting it down, and there's my cork, and I'm swirling. I'll lift this up carefully, and ta-da! There I've got a little bit of a dot coming right from the edge of this. And that gives it more interest. And I'm looking to see where I might want another dot, and I think maybe there. Okay, we're good. And maybe here. I think that's it. I think I'm happy with my swirls of white. Do you see how this has brightened the page? All of a sudden, this page with depth has gotten brighter and happier and um, I just love the way it's coming along. So let me get rid of my paint and we will begin the next step. Thank you.